Hello everyone, it's Finnovation. A little while back, I made a video on how to do full body tracking with the Xbox Connect for a VR headset. Now, a lot has changed since then, so I wanted to make an updated tutorial, but there's two softwares, and the obvious question is... The obvious question is, what's the difference between those two softwares, and how do you set them up? In this video, I'm going to show you exactly that. So first, I'm going to show you how to set both of them up, and then I'm going to do a comparison on which one you should get. All right, now here are the things that you're going to need. First off, you are going to need a Kinect. So that can be the 360 Kinect or the Xbox One Kinect. If you don't have one of those, I would 100% recommend the Xbox 360 Kinect. It works better, just trust me on this. Then you're going to need an adapter because the Kinect has a really weird cable at the end and it's basically just an adapter so you can plug it into your PC. Now the last thing you're going to need is a VR headset and um, you just need a headset that you can use with Steam VR. So if you're using like an Oculus Quest 2, make sure that you've got a linked cable or air link so that you can hook it up to your PC. All right, so I'm going to be showing you how to get driver for VR to work first. So basically you do this through um, Steam and that's the, I found the easiest way to get it to work. Um, basically, you just go on and Steam and install it that way. But once you have it installed, it should look like this. So you should have a program, look something like that, right? What you do is you want to press Start. Uh, Driver 4 VR is running. Then you're going to press Calibrate. And now you've got two options here, right? You've got New with Two Steps and Basic with Five Points. I always recommend using this one. Now, before we do this, the um, settings that you're going to need if you do a VR is Head Tracking. You want to say Off. Hand tracking, you want to say off, but say you do like um, sign language or something like that, you can always use that, and that's pretty cool. Now, the body tracking, make sure to do connect skeleton. This is very important. Now, um, I recommend doing basic with five points rather than two steps. Five points just works better. So you're going to do that, and it should take a second here, and it should launch this. So as you can see, there I am. Hi. Um, now I'm just going to calibrate it. That's the camera. That's you. Say hi to yourself. But um, basically, it has a very easy instructions over there. As you can see, um, it's just got a bunch of stuff that um, like calibrate. That's what you want to press. And then it will lead you through. It's really simple. So I'm going to do that right now. Calibration process is super simple. All you got to do is just follow the steps on screen and basically you um, just, you know, walk around in VR, squat a little, you know, do what it tells you. Now, the next software that I'm going to be reviewing is Connect to VR. So it's really simple. All you got to do is press start. Then you got to go down and it um, is very simple. You basically are just going to keep pressing continue and then you just download the installer. So I already have it, but it's really simple to do. Make sure that you um, read their instructions because that helped me a lot to just get it more accurate. And so I'm gonna show you how to calibrate right now. So once you've installed it, they have a really simple installer. It's really easy to use. But basically once you get the pro program open and running, it should look like this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit spawn trackers, and I like to use this, um, show hide connect skeleton tracking. So like as you can see, if I back up here, now you can see my um, tracking because it is tracking me back here. But now if I go back over to my computer and I do spawn trackers, there is a really simple calibration setup. So basically what it is, is it's just me um, going to the spots in the room that it tells me to. All right, so now I am in the tracking for the Connect to VR. And um, now something to notice between Connect to VR and Driver for VR, the Connect to VR, it actually in your, um, like in Steam when you look down, you'll be able to see, um, like as, as you can see on my screen, it is using some Vive trackers versus Driver for VR. They use Vive wands as like the additional points. So it's a little bit different, and um, but both will work for something like Beat Saber or even um, VR Chat. So that's something just to know. Now, before I come right out and tell you which one I think is better, I'm going to be rating them in a few different categories because I think that's kind of fair. All right, so the first one that I'm c come up with is ease of use. So which one is easier to install and set up? 
I thought that um, Driver4VR, they had a pretty nice website and it was pretty easy to figure out how to use and install. Although the biggest thing that I thought was hard was um, I did have to like figure out how like to use Connect Skeleton Tracking and that was a little bit different. Now the other hand, Connect2VR, they had a very easy website and pretty detailed instructions I'd say on how to set it up. Um, now I do have to say that I did have a little bit of a problem with my computer installing the app, but I don't think that was like their fault. So um, when it came to the actual software, like starting it up and stuff like that, I think that was a little bit easier. So the point I think in this category, just for like the nice website and the super easy installation process goes to connect to VR. All right, the next category is going to be the more accurate tracking. Now, Driver 4 VR, they had a little bit of a longer process to get it going and um, actually tracking, but once it was tracking, I never had any problems where like sometimes the feet tracker would switch. That would never happen for me. Um, so it would always pretty much be like the hip one would be right where my hip was in real life. The feet ones were right where my feet were. Um, so that was pretty nice. Now, Connect 2 VR, sometimes there was a little bit of a problem, and I'm not sure if this was just the light, but then again, Driver 4 VR worked, so I'm not sure, but sometimes it seemed to just be a bit off, so like, the whole body would be like, my hip one would be here, and my feet would be a little over to the left, like it would just be like a little shifted off to the right or left, and sometimes my feet would be switched. But when it worked, it would work really well, and it would stay. So I'm not sure if that was just me like not setting it up right or something, but it did seem to be a little bit more janky. Um, as driver for VR, it would get it every single time just right, and connect to VR sometimes would just be a little bit off. But then again, it is free. All right, next category is going to go to latency, which one was less like, you know, when you moved your foot, how long did it take to get there? Um, and I'm just gonna go right to the point. I think that connect to VR, it was, it just was faster and seemed to be like more accurate once it was working. Um, and I did have to go into settings because they've got like four options of um, how it wants to read because some are more accurate, some are more raw inputs, but um, I picked one method and to be honest, it felt like I was just wearing actual trackers and they were spot on. Like I'd move it in like no latency really at all. While I was driver for VR, a little bit of latency, like about half a second when you move your foot. Now, my last category is going to be price. And obviously I have to give this one to connect for VR because, well, it's free. Um, and you can't beat that while as driver for VR is 20 bucks. Now, one more thing to say is the support on both of these is really good. And if you're ever having a problem, they both have Discord servers and emails. So if you have a problem, it's really easy to contact them. And um, so props to both of them. So I'm gonna give both of them a free point for that. Now, which one would I use? This is like the big question. And I think I'm going to say, um, it depends on the day. Now I know that's not a great answer, but sometimes it is nice to have the consistency of driver for VR. Cause I know that when I would flip it up, like if I was in a hurry or whatever, and I didn't want to um, like mess around with it, every time it would be spot on. But at the same time, when I wanted like the really fast, accurate tracking, sometimes it's just really cool having that. And a lot of times it would work right away with connect to VR. So there's really no definite answer and I'm sorry for that. Well, that sums up this video. And whether you wanna pay the $20 to have a little bit of a faster and more consistent process or the smooth tracking with the other one, well, that's up to you, but they both work to get your legs into VR. Legs, Finn, that actually reminds me of a joke. Really? Yeah, Finn, did you know that our refrigerator's leg is broken? And why is that? Because it's not running. Dun dun dun. That was terrible. Whatever, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!